Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video. And in today's video, we are joined by Matt Dixon, the CEO of Evide.io, who uh, do, well, they utilize artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, to, to rate different crypto assets uh, without human intervention. So do check out their platform. Um, links in the description of the video. Um, and Matt has over 18 years um, pro trader experience and he's going to sort of dig into to the TA on several different projects with us today. The likes of um, Mana, Sandbox, MetaHero, Litecoin, Bitcoin. It's an action-packed one. If you like this sort of content, mash that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tapping that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and before we get down to to the desktop to to chat with matt do check out our discord it is free to join uh, we do surprise amas um, lots of different chat rooms and uh, stuff on our server where you can chat with like-minded individuals that really do like the projects that you're interested in we obviously feed in lots of news from all these different protocols as well so it's definitely worth sort of being sort of kept in the know so do join our discord it's free to join and we do have a patreon now as well where you can join up nick does uh, lots of um sort of learning exercises around um, TA. Um, we also highlight um, various other opportunities in the crypto space uh, to our Patreon members uh, with live streams, live chats, a bit like Teams meetings, that sort of stuff. So do check that out. Links in the description. Right, with all that said, done and out of the way, let's get down to the video call with Matt and get into all of these different wonderful projects and see what's happening in the future. Okay, well, welcome guys. Welcome Cheeky Crypto community. It's a pleasure to be back. And we've had a really exciting week. Um, maybe exciting for some, maybe not so for others. But there's been some real opportunities highlighted in the charts that we've seen. So I wanted to start with Zillica, um, one that I always touch on and touched on as a um, another barometer for the market. In fact, there's so, so much correlation between these cryptos that you can look at virtually any of them. But I used Zillica. The reason I liked it was because it looked as though it was showing a triangle formation. And that was actually broken this week with a sharp fall in the market. But I think it's really good to look at it because we got the, well, I say we, I got the chart pattern wrong. Um, I had this counted as A, B, C, and I was looking for it to turn into a triangle. Um, the A down here, B was up here, C down here. And you can see we broke below the level of the A wave here. Now, what that means is your triangle is broken, but why this is so good, whilst I got the wave count wrong, this just teaches you a little bit about risk controls. So as soon as we break the level of wave A, we know the triangle is no longer valid. So basically that is where I place my stop loss. So it's quite an important lesson for us that rather than just have a percentage for a stop loss and arbitrarily placed, we can actually determine the exact point. So if we're following a particular wave count, if that wave count is invalidated, which in this case it was when we crossed this line, then we can close our position. Um, and it's really interesting. So we've got a strong spike down there. We could close our position immediately. And I don't place stop loss orders in the market because they're visible to people, particularly to market makers uh, who are controlling all the trades. So if you're trading with a particular platform, the people on the other side, it's like playing poker and they can see your hand of cards. So they can see all the trades that are in there. They can see the stop losses placed and they will know where, where to move prices to mop up stop losses. So that's why, particularly in crypto, which are tend to be thin markets, not a great deal of volumes, particularly once you get outside the top handful of cryptos, the volume starts to get a little bit thin. So the, the markets and the prices are very easily manipulated and moved and so you don't want to show your hand to the person you're trading with, the market maker or the platform that you're trading with. So as I say, I just did a manual stop under here. I took a loss, and that's another important lesson. Not every trade that you take will be a winner. You have to learn to take losses, but control the size of those losses. So you take your stop here. We actually got a move, um, a strong move down. Then we moved up, and I actually thought this was... If we looked at some other Fibonacci extensions, we'd see that this A wave here 
was a particular is a 1.382 extension of a, a wave further back. So it was a good turning point, and we could have took some profit here. But again, overnight, we got a very strong spike down. And I've actually labeled this price manipulation. And the reason being, spikes are very important. Um, they're often called a shooting star. It depends which way they're going, but you can call it a shooting star pattern. And it's a sign of a reversal. So we got a short-term reversal here. Um, but what was really important about this one, this spike happened almost momentarily. I've seen um, massive spikes. I mean, you can see the spike here from seven, some seven dollars somewhere around there, seven dollars something down to two dollars something. Um, so we got what was it, eighty percent fall in the price, but over just a few moments of time, then it spiked back up. Now, what this shows me is there's some manipulation going on. So the people on the other side of the trade, the market makers, the platforms, or even the whales, um, they want to mop up all the stop losses here. So there's a lot of people long in the market here. They bought, um, as I did here. I actually bought here and was looking to make a nice profit. Um, but a lot of people who place stop losses in the market will have had stop losses below their buy level here, or they might even have locked in a bit of profit, putting a stop loss here. All these stop losses, when the price is spiked down, will be mopped up. So all the long positions in the market are taken out of the market. So by doing this price manipulation with a, a rapid, aggressive spike down with the price, it means all the stop losses are taken out. These long trades, all of those trades are collected and losses are crystallized with this move down here. And then the market is free to move back up rapidly. And that's exactly what's happened. So I just checked the Fibonacci relationships here. And from the top here, I measured the movement down to here, and that's 100%. You can see there, one, that's 100%. And then the spike down here was exactly 1.382 times wave one, which again, it's just amazing. There's not many technical tools that work when you see price manipulation and you see a, a sharp, aggressive move like this. But the fact that we've seen the Fibonacci move to exactly 1.382, which is um, the you know, that you get 3.382 from 0.618 squared and 0.618, as you know, is the golden ratio. So it's a very, very important, the second most important Fibonacci ratio you'll come across. And the fact that it moved exactly to that level, it just makes me very, very skeptical and suspicious about what's going on here. But the fact that it moved to a particular Fib level, it's not by chance there's something going on, some, some market manipulation but it is a sign that the longs have been cleared out and now it's probably time to get in long in the market. So just move quickly on, looking at Zilla, uh, sorry, at Litecoin here. Um, Litecoin's been really interesting. Again, we got our strong move up, which I have labeled as wave one. We've got an ABC down, which is a W wave, an ABC up for an X wave. And then the X wave, I actually measured the Fibonacci extension of the... A wave. Let me just move this back up. So from the, let's move that there. So from the top of the X wave here to the bottom of the A wave. So the A wave here I measured as 100%. Then I move this Fibonacci measurement down to the B wave. And interestingly, the B wave takes you to exactly the 1.618. I mean, this is uncanny that you just see it in the charts everywhere so if you know where to look and um, we need to do more of this and i'll perhaps do some more actual training sessions on on all those fibonacci extensions and which waves they relate to we do need to take time to do that so here we got exactly to the 1.618 of wave a which is a perfect turning point and clearly we've had a strong move up there so here, this is either an ABC wave up, or this is the end of the wave here, and we've got a one, two, one, two, and we're going to push higher. Um, either way, for me, I don't want to close my position. I got in down here. I'm running a profit right now quite nicely. Um, I don't want to close it because there's a strong chance we're going to head much higher. There is a chance that this is ABC higher, and we're going to push down one more. But that one more would potentially be from the count here. We've got a wave one, wave two, wave three down to this point here. I've got it wave three as an alternate count. This would be an alternate wave four. And we'd have a final wave five down, which I've got a question mark here. Final wave five. 
and then the Y wave would actually just move over here a little bit. So I'm not certain about it, but I'm prepared to hold even a, a small loss here if it goes into loss. I'm in profit right now, but if it comes down, I'm prepared to hold the loss because then we'll have a completed on the final C wave, five wave move down, and we're going to get some strong movement up. So you have to sometimes accept that you're not quite sure what the wave count is. There may be a little bit of a loss to be held, but the upside, the wave count is pretty clear. We're going to get some strong upside after this um, final wave here, or we're going to continue up from here. So either way, we're going to look at a big profit in the not too distant future. I want to rush through. We'll move on to Hero, which is obviously the one on everybody's lips. Um, we caught it really nicely. I think we discussed it last week and we were somewhere around this price somewhere around here, and I said, I'm expecting probable further movement down, um, which is exactly what we got, and we got a strong move down. Um, I think we've probably bottomed out here. So from the bottom, we've got a wave one up, wave two down. The wave three was an extremely strong wave three, past the 3.618. So not only did we get the, the 1.618, which is the minimum you'd expect for a wave three, we passed 2.618, we got 3.618 just over, and these spikes, Spikes for me are, are pretty unreliable moves and they're, they're usually um, just to do with thin volume and there's a lot of exuberance in the price here and it's just pushed that, touched that a little bit higher. But as far as I'm concerned, this is pretty near the 3.618 and I expected a correction down. We started that correction last week and I expected a bit more, that's what we got. So it's, uh, it, it's a great token. All these metaverse tokens are just really exciting at the moment. And I think we're headed for some more upside. Uh, Bitcoin, just moving on here. Again, just these Fibonacci relationships, just phenomenal. From the top of the X wave here, I've counted it as ABW, ABX. And then we've got another WXY down. Um, so the ABW wave, if you counted that as 100%, and then you go to the X wave. So I can just, I think I'll move this just to show you. So the X wave there. From the top, oh, sorry, what am I measuring? Sorry, that was what I was looking at. Um, the X wave here, so the top of the X wave down to the bottom of the A wave. Um, yeah, okay, an extension of that. So down to the A wave and then the extension of it was basically the Y wave is 1.618. So it's another interesting extension there that went almost the very cent to the target there and then we moved up very strongly from that um, and again I think that we've seen the bottom on on Bitcoin I think the WXY correction is complete so I believe the correction is over and we're going to move I believe to new all-time highs it won't move in a straight line so when you jump in you have to bear in mind so for example if you were to jump in here now your actual stop loss would need to be quite a lot lower. So if you've been watching and saw this price around the 42 level, uh, again, when you look at the correlation between different cryptocurrencies, you'd see this was a great place to jump in. And now if you're in a position, you can be holding it and had, had a stop loss just around here, a manual stop loss. As I say, I don't place automated stop losses because they're, you're just showing your hand to the market makers. If you're in here, if you jump in now, you have to bear in mind, you could potentially see a bit of downside if we were to invalidate below this point. So that's why it's very important to analyze this. I look at my charts, I'm looking at them most of the day actually, but you need to look, be looking at them at least twice a day if you're looking at these FIB wave counts, because you'll get these strong moves, particularly the spikes. And spikes are a great indicator that nobody actually really thinks about. If you think about all the indicators, I can tell you technical analysis of its own does not have any predictive value. All of my studies have been into what's called efficient market hypothesis. And that basically tells you all the academic theory throughout history has told you that technical anal analysis does not predict where the markets are going. There are some aspects of TA that can be a little bit helpful in terms of circumstantial evidence, but you cannot predict the market. That's, that's a certainty. But there are some, some exceptions, and one of the, the exceptions, I wouldn't call it TA exactly, but when you see a strong spike like this, you're seeing exhaustion, 
you're seeing the market makers pushing price down to take longs out of the market. Exactly what I was just telling you on Litecoin, this is manipulation really, where they're moving prices down to pick up all those long positions to knock them out effectively so that they can then move the price up. And it's if they're trading against you, which is what's happening, they want to take out the longs before they move the price up. And that's exactly what's happening here. You need to understand what these market makers are doing because they're working against you. And when you can understand their logic and mentality behind what's happening with the price, you're in a much stronger position to make profits. So just move on very quickly because we're taking you know, it's a, a big session today. So once again, we got a really nice move to a, a solid wave three here. So wave one, wave two, um, right from the bottom here, this actually coincides with the bottom price here. You can see to the top, I use that as the 100% move. Uh, well, it's actually a 300% move. And then we got a move down to 1.618, which is ABC. Perfect correction. Again, I think a great time to jump in if you could have jumped in anywhere around here. And I love this 0.618. It's always one to look out for as the fibs, the 1.382, but above all 0.618. And so anywhere around here was a good time to be looking to buy into the market. We got a strong move up. And for me, I'm just accumulating everywhere I can. I don't just pile everything in in one go. I think I've mentioned this before. You need to scale into your position. So I'll start buying here. And if it does drop a bit lower, I'll be scaling, scaling. So it's this pound cost, dollar cost, Bitcoin cost averaging that I've been talking about in previous weeks where you need to average your buy positions. You never know for certain whether you've caught the exact point at the bottom of the market, but use these FIB extensions as indicators that it's a likely turning point and then start scaling in at those points. Um, so that was Sand, Sandbox. Um, again, amazing token. Um, you can just see the, the extensions are, are really exaggerated. And I think we're gonna go a lot higher with these. There's gonna be a lot more upward movement in the market to come before we get any major turnaround. So these big corrections that we've had, they're just our buying opportunities. So the people who chase the markets higher, they've usually got nothing left to come back in when the market tanks as it did the other day. This is why don't ever commit all your funds to the market. And when the market does correct strongly, that's the time when they say there's blood in the streets, that is the time to be starting to accumulate and to average your, average your trades back in but don't ever commit all your money in one go. Otherwise you will end up um, crying over spilt milk at some point. Finally, we'll just touch on MANA, um, lovely token again. We got the, um, very interesting, the extension of wave one here, the wave three, uh, four, five. So that the move from wave, wave one was exactly two times wave one. Two times isn't an actual Fibonacci extension but it really um but it is actually just interesting you often see waves that match so for example the most common relationship between wave a and wave c is actually a quality so that's a, a one relationship you will often see two times as well I, I do look for it among my relationships that i've got there so i don't use 0.236 much i use 0.382 um, you do often see a 50% retracement, so I use the half. Uh, 0.618 is obviously the favourite. I don't use 0.786 much. I use one times, 1.38, 1 1.618, and two times. And then you go, you can go 2.618, 3.618, and then normally 4.2, uh, not 4.23. When you see a market crash or something like that, you'll often see an extent, a massive extension to 4.2, 4.23. Times the first wave that happened right back in 2008 i made a lot of money back then and and it moved to that massive extension and and signaled the turnaround in the markets the recovery once they started doing qe but anyway i hope you guys are enjoying this please um yeah come and join us on the eve.io platform um we cover all of these tokens on there and you can look for upgrades. We showed some fantastic ones where the signal actually switched beautifully. Um, we, we did not rate up, uh, the, the uh, ratings were upgraded or basically re-rated at 4 a.m. in the morning. 
And that was actually the turning point. So all the ones that were upgraded, the token upgrades, I actually bought them because it it actually coincided with my Fibonacci, um, with the Fibonacci extensions and the turnarounds. And the upgrades came at 4 a.m. in the morning. Um, not that I'm up at 4 a.m. in the morning all the time, but uh, when the markets are really aggressive, sometimes uh, you, you know you do extended hours. So we got the turnarounds there and some of them, you got some massive gains. You na- we nailed the turnaround on the spot. So when these tokens got upgraded and there was a coincidence with the uh, my Fibonacci and Elliott wave analysis, then that was a buy opportunity. So great time for people to buy in. So as I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. So join us at eve.io. Join me on my trade group on Twitter at, at mdtrade. So um, hopefully some of you guys will be joining me there. I've only just started that, but it's already growing quite quickly and people are enjoying the content. I'm able to put content out on a daily basis there. So you'll then see daily up um, the daily sort of uh, updates on the trades that are going on and, and some of the charting that I'm doing. So thanks very much, guys. It's been a pleasure to be with you and look forward to being with you again next week. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. So that was Matt from uh, evide.io. So do check out their platform. Link is in the the description of the video. Um, You know, the uh, unbiased, decentralized AI uh, and machine learning rating platform for crypto assets. So do check that out. And don't forget to to join up to our Discord. Link is in the description. Uh, Lots of reasons that I mentioned at the start of the video. And don't forget to check out our Patreon as well. We'd love to have you join uh, join us over there. Um, If you enjoyed the content, mash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. And, um, you know, I just want to take the time to thank you for, for watching today and I'll catch you in the next one.